Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Red Diamond. And today I'm doing a cooking with red segment because I have not did cooking with red in I don't know how long. But um, today I'm making my homemade lasagna. And what you will need first is ground beef, and you can use as I'm much sure, ground um, beef as you want. Everyone knows what lasagna noodles look like. Uh, they look like this. So, yeah. You just buy a box and or whatever. It doesn't matter what brand, but they look like that. You have to put a little bit of either butter or cooking oil in them so they will not stick together. And then you just brown the ground beef. Next, you will need a big bowl, a lot of cheese, and you can use any kind of bowl you want or thing that you want to make it in. I use a glass Pyrex bowl about this long. And this makes for at least five, five so, layers, I think. Yes, that's the, um, what I'm going to use. And I also use um, Hunt's. This is the meat sauce. And this is... Uh, meat sauce also in a thing. You can use any and kind this of is traditional. I usually use three, three different kinds, and Parmesan cheese, um, chopped onions. Well, in this you can use real onions, but I don't have a real onion, and I found out that I like these better than having to chop the onions, and the. Italian seasoning, um, you need oregano, garlic pepper, pepper, and I also add and a little bit of regular salt. pepper in with it. And um, So once I get all that cooked, I will be back to show you how I mix my sauces. And even though I use these sauces, it's still my own special sauce because I mix how I want to mix it. And this is the first time ever that I'm telling anybody how I make my lasagna because everybody loves my lasagna. That's like my best, my specialty um, dish. But so I make it to where it's it's my own kind of and it's want. great. Sometimes everybody I loves it. Homemade so. garlic bread and with I also regular bread. And you just get a bread. pan, spray butter in it, any kind of butter or nonstick, whatever that you want. And so, like I said, I will be back once I get all that um, done because I'm trying to hopefully make this a one part video. Okay, so, I'm going to have back. to. Okay. You know, to Next, what you want to do is get a drainer. Drain your ground beef really good. So, usually I just let it sit in there for a minute. Um, then I go over here. I've already put my sauces put in here in the bowl. Cans. For the two cans and one jar of sauces in here. Then I'm going to start mixing. And I use a little bit of this. This is just regular um, Italian seasoning. Y'all love Italian <laughs> Mexican food. You would swear I was Italian and Mexican. Then the garlic pepper. And I'm not doing them in any specific art order. Seasoning. So this is the oregano. These are the onion, chopped onions and I also this added some Italian. chopped onions in the ground beef while it was cooking seasoning now these seasons are optional you don't have to use them if you don't care and this is the garlic salt and I just use just a little bit of that and that may have even been too much then I'm gonna take the regular pepper now like I said I like a lot of pepper some people don't but I do when I make it uh, nobody ever complains about it, so they must do. Then you take the Parmesan cheese. Gonna add Parmesan uh, cheese in there. The regular cheese in there. A little bit. Just to get it, you know, have it even more cheesier inside. And then you're just gonna mix. You don't have to be just perfect. mix. Mix it because next, together. what you're gonna do is take your ground beef. And add that in there. So yeah, you add your ground beef inside the sauce. So anyway, just mix, 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 mix. And my noodles are still cooking, so that will be the last 
the thing out to get the noodles out cool them yeah. and then start the that's what you do for that part okay to be so i will be back again like i said i have the sauce done make sure you rinse so your, now i'm um, ready to actually put the noodles, noodles off well i just drain the hot water put them in uh, run some cold water over them and that way they're still warm always make sure your hands are washed of course everybody should know that <laughs> And I just want to say, if you are under 18 or whatever, kids, don't try this with our parents around because I don't want you making a mess and I don't want to be responsible for it. So, and I use glass because what glass is non-stick. It does not stick at all. And it's great as to where a regular pan will stick. So anyway, the very bottom layer does not have to be a lot you just coating it like that just basically coating the um the pan then you're going to take your first string of noodles and a lot of the times the noodles are broken up it's okay trust me it is okay it's not the end of the world if some are broken up always shake the excess water off okay it's hard for me doing this with one hand but you lay it lay it in there that's the first one and i'm only going to show you how i layer the first one that i'm going to have to stop because it probably is going to take a long one. it takes a while so. the second one and if you use this kind of pan a nice enough size pan you will use three one two three across so that's not very um it's not a lot. Sometimes I like when I make it like we have family dinners and it's for the the whole whole family. <laughs> a great big pan is really deep. Meaning, and there's you know, a I've lot, made it lot for more layers before and stuff like that. But this is probably going to be um, four or five layers. So anyway, you take the sauce and you're going to do this all the way until you get to the final layer. And I'm going to have to come back and show you guys, which the final layer is just laying cheese, laying the cheese on top. So, make sure you get it. And I hope y'all can see me good because I'm trying to hold this camera and do this at the same time. I'm going to have to get I guess that may work. I don't know. <laughs> so, just layering it. Layering it. And that's what you do. That's what you do for that. And then I'm going to repeat the same steps. So lay the noodles. Okay, guys, I'm add more sauce. Later, lay the noodles. And add more sauce. And I'll come one, back for the, two, the final top layer. One, two, three, four. Five layers. So okay. I have this much sauce five left layers. over. And what I'll do is put it in that jar that I had. So if you have sauce left over, just put it in a jar or something. No need to throw it away because you can freeze it or refrigerate it. So, okay, I'm up to my final layer and just add a little more pepper and just take it and then go over it. I'm going to take my bag. Make sure you coat it all. Sometimes I use two two to three bags of cheese depends on how big it is this was right here is probably a bag and a half of cheese because I always take it out the bag and put it in a ziploc bag because I mix different types of cheese together doing the last layer go ahead like American cheese sharp cheddar Mexican cheese Italian cheese just okay. different types of cheese coating it so that's the final layer right there and try not to get anything over on the sides I try not to anyway so there it is beautiful lasagna and I just go over then it then I take my parmesan add more cheese. parmesan to it that's it you guys the final step is to add it in the oven and after I take it out I will show you what okay, it looks so like this is your girl red down and I'm back and this is the final results so of my food.
Y'all try it and tell me how it turned out. So 